Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. So as you guys can see from the title, today we're going to be focusing on scalp health because let me tell you guys, my scalp is so itchy. Like the winter months make my scalp super duper dry and itchy and my hair could look fine because my hair doesn't look too, too bad. I mean, it needs to be washed, but it's not that bad. But like, if you look at my edges, I don't know if you can really see the buildup, but it is so dirty. And I just feel like I'm more prone to buildup in the winter. I don't know why, but my scalp gets so dry and I just want to scratch it. Like I just want to get in there and just scratch it. So I decided to use some of the Taraji P. Henson products. I actually got these sent to me a very, very long time ago and I've been meaning to try them. I haven't tried their scalp care collection. And I got sent a few products to try, so I figured why not just do a video of me testing them out for the first time with you guys. So, I am going to be washing my hair because this is unacceptable. I could probably hold off on this wash and go for like another few days, maybe like three days, but the itch I have on my scalp right now is like unbearable. Like I gotta, I gotta wash it. So, so first we are going to go in with their sugar scrub. It's called Never Salty and it's a sugar based scalp and hair scrub. It's supposed to renew, exfoliate and calm your scalp. This is what it looks like. So it actually has a pretty cool applicator. Let me show you guys. Let's see how you open this. Oh, so this is the applicator. I feel like it makes it very easy to be able to apply it directly to your scalp, which is pretty cool. I feel like the whole collection is like that. So that's exciting. I've heard nothing but amazing things about how it makes your scalp feel. And I'm always bragging about how much I love peppermint and all like the eucalyptus, all the extraness when it comes to like a minty feel on your scalp. And from what it seems like, these products give you just that and it's exactly what I need right now. So I think I'm gonna start with the scrub and then I'm gonna go in with the Master Cleanse. It's a targeted scalp wash, it's supposed to help cleanse, freshen, and balance. I think I should probably exfoliate, then cleanse. It also comes with that super cool applicator that makes it very easy to apply it directly to your scalp. So I'm definitely excited to try that. And then it also comes with a mint conditioner. It's a tingling scalp conditioner. It looks very similar to the hair wash, but I don't know if this is for the rest of your hair, if it's just solely your scalp. So I'm going to test it out and see how it feels, but I don't know why I feel like it's not for your whole head. I think it's just simply for your scalp. It doesn't say to apply it to all your hair. It says to apply it to your scalp. But if I feel that it's a little off, I am going to go in with their Make It Rain Hydrating Rich Conditioner. So I think this could be perfect. This is supposed to just help you hydrate, smooth, and detangle your hair. So I think this will be perfect to use if this is not enough. But I don't know. I'm going to test this out. If it's enough, I'm not going to go in with this one. But it might be nice to give this one a shot too so you guys can get a little review on the conditioner as well. So I'm going to hop in the shower, obviously bring you guys along with me so you can see the entire process. I think I'm going to voice over that portion um, and I'm going to be very open and honest with my reactions. You guys will probably see it in the moment. Um, I heard it's amazing on the scalp and I definitely could use that. Like the buildup is, actually let me show you guys, my hair looks so gross. My hair overall looks fine. Like my hair doesn't look too, too bad. But like I have so much build up like i i probably should have worn a hat today i was literally out here just rocking i have like flakes on my hair this is not the wave so let's go ahead and get this scalp super clean and see how these products work okay guys so first we're going to start off by just wetting our hair i'm not going to shampoo beforehand i think i'm going to start with the scrub and i haven't done a hair scrub in a very very long time and i find it really hard to find a good one because I do find that a lot of the hair scrubs that are in the market kind of stay salty on your scalp, like the residual like sugar scrubs, like the little crystals stay stuck in your hair and it's kind of annoying. So I went ahead and applied this to my hands and then applied it directly to my scalp because I find that the applicator releases a little too much. And I think it's easier to just add it to your hand and just massage it to your scalp. So. My instant reaction to it is it is so refreshing and it pretty much dissolves upon massaging it onto your scalp. So I really, really like that. And I find it super soft. It does soften the rest of your hair too. So I really, really liked that. So I made sure to massage that all throughout my scalp. And once I felt that my scalp felt, you know, refreshed and exfoliated, I went ahead and rinsed it out. And then we're gonna follow up with the gentle cleanser. Okay, so the cleanser has a really cool applicator, which I think is very convenient because you can apply it directly to your scalp. It's not as big, it's like smaller. 
and it is a very watery consistency so at first i'm kind of just like okay is this a rinse like what is this but as you apply it to your hair and you massage it in it does start to lather i found that adding a little bit of water does help with the lathering as well but i really did like this as well i felt it added a lot more of the peppermint feel so if you are sensitive to peppermint and you feel that that freshness on your scalp is a little too much this might be a little too overbearing for you but when i'm telling you it feels so nice and clean i feel like this is the perfect regimen to do once you remove a protective style and i'm gonna keep that on my roster for that because this felt so good so next we're following up with the mint condition this is the scalp conditioner i just went ahead and applied it directly to my scalp and it felt really gentle on my scalp it did leave my hair soft on my scalp the hair on my like the hair on top that i massaged it into felt very soft but i felt like i had to add too much to my actual hair to get any type of feel so i did go in with the make it rain conditioner because i felt like i needed something to help me detangle all this hair because when you're massaging your scalp i feel like i was actually tangling my roots because i was doing a little too much so make sure that you take your time to detangle because it is very common that this does happen especially when you use a scrub just be gentle take your time and make sure you use a conditioner with lots of slip this conditioner actually does have a lot of slip and when you add a little bit of water to dilute it it does make the product work better into your hair. So I really did like their conditioner. And the scalp condition, it's actually really nice. I don't know if I'd actually purchase it because I don't think a scalp conditioner is really necessary, but since it was a gift and I tested it out, it is really nice, so I can't complain. But yeah, guys, that's all for today's video. I just wanted to show you guys how this product worked in my hair. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment them down below. But all in all, I really did like this regimen. I feel like it's the perfect like I said, protective style, post protective style wash and go routines, especially to give your scalp that simulation it needs when it's been built up with a bunch of products and dirt and all the nonsense. So really, really like this regimen and I would 1000% re-pick this up, especially when I'm looking to pick up my scalp a bit. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.